Good morning, evening, and a very good afternoon to you wherever you may be in the world. Welcome to this very special event. Today we will be talking about the future of our digital society, and we'll be talking about how to keep it safe. We'll be talking about the future of cybersecurity and the future of F-Secure. In today's event, we will be looking at four key areas. We'll be diving into instinctive technologies and how, when they're combined with the insights of our experts, how they deliver the outcome-based cybersecurity that both businesses, customers, and societies as a whole will need now and in the future. But first, we'll hear from the founder and chairman of F-Secure Group, Risto Silasma. Founding a company is an exciting challenge. You have a vision for it, you dream about what it might be, how it will change the world for the better, how people at the other end of the world will be solving their problems with our technology, and of course, what kind of great people it can attract with its culture. When I founded F-Secure, I dreamt about all of those things. But the topmost thought was on creating a corporate culture where top talent would feel at home and finding a purpose that would, would unite us. Back in the 90s, our bit of the world, the digital bit of the world, was relatively small. But we knew that the digital part of everybody's world would grow, and it did. And as it grew, we made sure that our company would grow with it and continue to protect it. We hired thousands of experts from all over the world. Many of them are still with us. Many even became thought leaders in their respective areas, like Laura Kankala, Nick Jones, Andrea Barisani, Christine Bergerasco, or Mikko Hyppönen, who we will still hear later. We developed products to protect the digital lives of ordinary people. We built and deployed technology and services to protect nation states, critical infrastructure, and global businesses. We did this very successfully. When I walk through our offices, I can see numerous awards we have won for our products over the years, and that makes me very proud. And we, as a company, have a common purpose that united us, to build trust in a society that had become increasingly digital. That purpose has brought us here today. So what have we learned in the past 34 years? Well, we know that things have become considerably more complex. Our industry often talks about the threat landscape, an imaginary radar with cyber attacks exploding all over the world. Back in the 90s, that threat landscape was pretty easy to navigate. The attacks were, by today's standards at least, trivial. Fast forward to today, right now, right this minute, and you have a threat landscape that is quite literally on fire, with cyber attacks touching almost every part of our daily lives. Sadly, cyber has become a constant, essential and strategic part of modern geopolitics. With the evolving threat landscape, the common ground for our consumer and B2B business has become smaller and smaller. That was one of the reasons why we announced a few, a few weeks ago our plans of a de-merger of our consumer business. We are convinced that our consumer and our B2B audiences are best served by two companies with two distinct brands understanding and addressing their very different needs. With the launch of WithSecure today, we are unlocking the power of our B2B business. Our purpose, though, hasn't and will not change. The more digital business has become, the greater the dependency on digital services has become. The greater the need for trust in those services has become. And as we work towards building and sustaining this trust, as we work together with thousands of businesses and partners to build award-winning solutions, services and products, we noticed why our approach was working. We didn't just deploy products and forget our customers. They didn't just install and forget us. 
we work together with our customers and partners to secure their businesses against cyber attacks. We co-secured. What we have learned in the past 30 plus years is that nothing and no one can alone solve all cybersecurity problems. We must work together with our partners, with our customers, with the whole InfoSec community. Co-security is our mindset to improve security capabilities and competencies. Our customers and our partners have been sharing the same belief in co-security, many of them a decade or longer. It is a partnership that builds upon trust as well as technical expertise. It is an honest, bar-raising partnership with a backbone. It's good partnership based on mutual respect, where we work together to co-secure the fabric of business, digital services and society as a whole. And these partnerships, this way of approaching cybersecurity has brought us together and is the cornerstone of the new brand for our B2B business. As the founder, I'm proud of what F-Secure has become. Splitting the company now in two is a historical moment for us and for me personally. The lead up to the Internet of Things, the advent of scalable infrastructure through cloud-based computing, the expanded data capture and analysis, the increase in network con connectivity and devices, as well as the ever-evolving cyber threat landscape, are creating tremendous opportunities for new markets, products and services, and are driving a segmentation trend among technology companies. For us, the time is right for absolute focus on our two audiences, B2C and B2B. Both of the businesses have a significant size and show strong traction in their markets. As two, a bit smaller, more nimble companies, we will serve our customers and partners better, increase our competitiveness and react more quickly to new business opportunities. For consumers, we will continue to secure digital moments under the F-Secure brand. For our B2B business, we will work with our partners and customers towards a co-secured future under the WithSecure brand. Now, I'm truly excited to discover what we are about to become at WithSecure. Thank you, Risto. So, what have we become? Here to take us through a new vision for cybersecurity is the CEO and president of WithSecure, Johanny Hintika. For the last 12 months, we've been looking long and hard at ourselves as a company. We've been looking at what we are, what we do, and what we should be. We've been thinking about the complex cybersecurity challenges facing businesses, financial institutions, manufacturers, telecommunications, as well as suppliers of critical infrastructure. And we've been also thinking about what kind of a cybersecurity company the world needs us to be. Risto has already talked about our history of co-securing. We will continue to build upon this methodology. Co-securing businesses, your business, against cybercrime is a critical part of the work we do. Mikko will talk a little later about our expertise and insights. And Christine will talk about our innovative and instinctive technologies. These two critical components form the practical core of our offering. Human expertise working with award-winning technology, protecting the most important parts of your daily business. The two cannot exist without each other. Great technology can't exist without great people. And in my first 12 months here, I've come to realize just how good my colleagues really are. Passionate, dedicated and intelligent people, the kind of people you want on your side. What I'd like to introduce to you today is the fusion of all of these components into a B2B 
cybersecurity brand that is the strategic partner for your business. I'd like to introduce to you today the logical evolution of our company. I'm delighted to introduce to you today Wit Secure. For more than 30 years, we've aimed to create trust in a digital society. Everyone should benefit from the opportunities the broad digitalization of life and business brings. We will stay loyal to this purpose. But we have changed the vision for our company, as we feel this is how we can create the biggest value in a digital world with its constantly evolving cyber threats. We envision the future where no one should experience a serious loss or be put out of business because of cyber attack or crime. At least no one who partners with us. We are not aiming to be the biggest and the boldest. We are not aiming to shout the loudest and scare with horror scenarios. Our experts just tell it how it is. We simply want to live up to our vision and do it in good partnership. We know that when we achieve that, also the numbers will follow. The way to get there is by accelerating the transition to outcome-based security. We want to start a new era in our industry and turn things upside down by thinking security outcomes first. Sounds great, but what does that mean? What does it mean to you? Well, if you're a business running a global sales organization, it means that we focus on protecting your business, your business goals, your business continuity, and your business transformation projects. It means that we speed up your business and make sure that it can scale easily and securely through cloudification. It means that your business is growing and working because your sales team is accessing all of the data that it needs. It means that your customers have a full shopping trolley because your supply chain is working smoothly regardless of what's going on in your network. It means that you have full transparency and full control over all parts of your business because it's all being co-secured together with us, with humans, with technology, with your business in mind, with Secure. The fundamental problem businesses are facing is that their security debt is increasing. But they're stuck between two stools, outsourcing to gain access to scarce skills or turning to products. However, neither are delivering security outcomes. Companies need technology that works in the context of their business and relationships with service partners that enable technology to deliver outcomes. So how can we answer that need? By building a security outcome portfolio that provides synergies of human expertise, operational excellence, and instinctive technology. Because our technology is based on real-world, field-tested, offensive, and defensive expertise, our portfolio is optimized for countering active attacks. It combines software and solutions through flexible commercial and delivery models. Delivered as software or a managed service, we provide comprehensive AI-driven protection for endpoints and cloud collaboration. We use artificial intelligence to enhance human intelligence and process more data faster by bringing security closer to the edge. Companies who partner with us get access to our world-class security experts who ensure that every cyber attack will be countered. This is important because we know that no one alone can protect digital society. You'll hear this a lot today, and it really is worth repeating. No one alone can protect digital society. We have to work together to make sure that it's all working properly. That's a big task. Nobody can do it alone. So, if you're a business owner, then you know your business, and your customers better than we ever will. But we are here to complement your security team when you need it the most and give them insights, proven expertise from our cybersecurity consultants. Our experts become your experts. 
Our technology becomes your technology. Our company mission becomes your business outcome. We provide the partnership that businesses need to understand and combat increasingly complex cybersecurity threats. Good partnership means good security, and good security means a business that works. The supply chain is working, online services are accessible, data is safe, your customers are happy. WITSECURE is more than a new B2B cybersecurity brand. It's a new approach to cybersecurity. It's what we've become, and we're incredibly excited to finally be able to share it with you all today. We're joined now by Christine Bechogasko, WIFSECURE's Chief Technology Officer, to take us through WIFSECURE's instinctive technologies. Imagine a world full of possibilities without the worries, where the underlying technologies are hard to misuse and code is secure by default. We can get there when cybersecurity is embedded into the fabric made up of our digital systems and networks. A fabric weaved by different organizations globally through the products and services that we produce and operate. This safe future is easier to attain when the cybersecurity technologies are intuitive and adaptable. When we no longer need to expect developers to have extensive cybersecurity knowledge just to get their jobs done. And the cybersecurity technologies evolve with the organizations themselves. Our real world today is both physical and digital. And our digital world, that's inherently borderless. In the past decade, we have seen supply chain attacks that impact all of us, even though we may not be targets. Now, as members of this global supply chain, we not only have the incentive to keep our organization safe for our benefit, but also the responsibility to keep these same organizations safe because we are good citizens of our digital society. When it comes to our products, we are building this future together with our customers and partners. And as Risto put it, it's not just that we deploy our products and leave. Instead, we co-create with our customers, building new solutions when existing capabilities are no longer sufficient. And once we deploy these capabilities, we have teams of cybersecurity experts behind the scenes who are ensuring to keep these capabilities effective and these are cybersecurity experts that have years to decades of experience in offense and defense. They are the fuel behind our offerings. Today, these are offerings like Elements, Cloud Protection for Salesforce, USB Armory, or Countercept. And tomorrow, as we build the smart cities of the future, these offerings will evolve together with the threat landscape. And one may ask, can with Secure really do this? I have no doubt. Because from our heritage in F-Secure, we have always been doing this. We have a range of offensive security consultants, defensive products and services, as well as incident response. We know that threat actors are opportunistic. And anyone using any technology can be a target. It doesn't mean that when a threat actor leaves an infection vector that we can forget about securing that technology because it's possible that the threat actor could have just found another technology that is more suitable to their current attacks. One example that we have seen in the past decade are email attacks, where at some point, it seems that the volume of threats coming from emails have lessened. And one may think that 
Perhaps emails as an infection vector has gone out of favor and is becoming obsolete. But since the world was still using emails, we thought that we would like to continue to protect this area and we would like to continue to follow and monitor threats. And it paid off because today, more than 50% of the threats that we see come from emails. So if a certain technology continues to be in use, it can be misused. And this is why we have built our technologies to be adaptable. The saying, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. Maybe a cliche, but it's a very cost-effective guide when it comes to building defense capabilities. When it comes to protecting against attacks, speed and effectiveness are both essential. And this is why we have built our products like endpoint protection, collaboration protection, or cloud protection for Salesforce in layers, where you can have reputation lookups and object structure scanning as very quick ways of preventing threats, and whatever passed through them, behavior scanning can handle. And since threats are typically not isolated to a single organization, then these products connect to our security cloud, which actually ingests data from multiple products globally, different products, and analyzes it for malicious activities. And this security cloud can even be expanded to support objects that we have never analyzed before. And on top of it, we have cybersecurity experts and data scientists who are creating rules and building machine learning models in order to detect malicious behavior. And once a threat is found, it's not only the original organization where the threat was found that is protected, but future organizations who encounter the same threat, and next time, much faster. And there are attacks that try to mimic user behavior. Those are harder to prevent. And that's why we have built capabilities to model the baseline behavior of the systems and networks of organizations so that we can identify anomalous behavior. That is the power behind our EDR and CounterCept offerings. These flexible cloud platforms enable us to evolve with the threat landscape. We settle for nothing less. We are proud of our heritage, and we're excited with this new focus in with Secure to keep digital society safe by co-securing with organizations. Organizations who are part of a fabric of our digital society. We know cybersecurity, but we don't presume to know all of your needs. And this is why we are working to co-create with you to build technologies that will make it intuitive for your organizations to use and will evolve to your future needs. This is how we are building a secure enclave for Foundry, API integrations for Elements, or exploring new cloud security offerings. Because from our perspective, it's not about building the coolest technologies, but building technologies that will make it easy for you to protect your area in our digital society. We are facing a future where tens of billions of machines and virtually all of humanity will be citizens in this digital world. Imagine the possibilities. Imagine the worries. Our job is to help you build that future so that it continues to be full of possibilities, but without the worries. Our aim is a safe digital society, and together we can get there. Good security needs good partnership. And Miko Hupinen joins us now to share a childhood story and the, the frill of an incident room and how, with Secure, will complement security teams when they need it the most and how this transfer of proven expertise helps security teams have a positive impact on their businesses. When I was 10 years old, my best friend was a guy called Jukka. 
We were inseparable. We did everything together. We hang out all the way until high school, but then life happens and we went on our own ways. But I met Jukka again a couple of years ago, so we compared notes about what we had been up to for the last 30 years or so. Well, turns out he had become a construction architect, so he had spent his time building things. Bridges, skyscrapers, churches, schools. And I realized that I've been working like hell for all these years, and I have nothing to show for it. I've done nothing. Because at WithSecure, our job is to prevent things from happening. When we do our job 100%, the end result is that nothing happens. Our job is to prevent bad things from happening. And that's why we've brought together all these world-class experts, from lock pickers to safe crackers, from CISOs to hackers, from soldiers to coders, from AI builders to criminal profilers. Because right now, technology shapes the world more than ever and faster than ever. And in this field, we do a lot of crisis work. I've spent years of my life handling crises, cyber crises or infosec crises, a company getting hacked or a new unknown vulnerability is found and criminal hackers are scanning the internet to find vulnerable machines or there's an outbreak of some kind and it's a race against the clock to figure out the solution. And you've probably seen TV series about hospitals or emergency rooms and you can sort of visualize the scene where a patient is brought in to an ER operation room and the surgeons gather around and you see these top professionals doing their job. Well, that's kind of how it feels like when we are handling a crisis. We have these world-class experts gathering together, everybody focused on solving this crisis, this problem at our hand right now. Everybody's silent and focused top expertise, and the, the scene is so clear that everybody knows what they're doing. Just calm down. We know what we're doing. We've done this before. We know this is hard, but we're confident we can do it. And when the case is over, when we've solved it, when we figure out what needs to be done, and we calm down and come back to normal life, it takes a while because you've been pumping adrenaline as long as the crisis has been going on. Your ears are ringing and you have narrow wish vision for, for real. What I'm trying to say that what we do, yeah, it's a job, but it really is more than just a, just a normal job. And our job is changing. It's been changing all this time. I've never had a boring day at work because everything changes. The environment around changes and it's changing right now in significant ways. Traditional endpoint security and detecting malicious programs is still important. But even more important is visibility. This is what we do a lot of work around helping our customers and clients. Visibility into your systems, because the age-old idea where you have a safe and secure internal network, and then you have all this badness in, on the internet, in the external networks, that's dead and gone. We have no internal networks. Companies have expanded their systems to the cloud and to servers all over the internet. And now it's more important than ever to have visibility, which means you know what normal situation looks like. And once you know 
what normalcy looks like, then you can start searching for abnormal things. If you have a large enough network, you can't keep all the badness out at all times. The best you can do is to detect the breaches that do happen, so you can react to the breaches before they become a problem. And at With Secure, we also do a lot of work helping our customers and clients build more secure products for their customers. Because today, every company is a software company. Every company is a software company. And another big trend which is happening right now is something I've paid attention to, but I don't really have a good term for it yet. So I'm just calling it security by PlayStation. And what I mean by that is that your games console, your PlayStation or your Xbox is clearly a computer. Obviously, it's a computer. It has a CPU and it has memory and storage and graphical chip, all that. But it doesn't have a keyboard and you can't really program it yourself, even though you own the device. Now, these games consoles are actually very safe and secure. We don't have hacking problems or malware incidents on our Xboxes, which is remarkable because Xbox actually runs Windows. The biggest software company in the world has their most secure operating system inside a games console, which is a bit weird. And the way this affects us in the enterprise and business world is that your phone and your tablets are PlayStations. Exactly in the same way. They have the same architecture. Closed, restrictive environment. They really are computers, but they're not really like computers. And we see this happening more and more in companies and enterprises, that they go to restrictive environments for better security. Companies issuing Chromebooks to employees instead of Windows laptops, or iPad Pros instead of MacBooks. So our world is changing. The, the work we do is changing. And sometimes it looks like we only get bad news in the world of security. Well, only the bad news make the headlines. The big success stories don't make the headlines. If a company does not get hacked, that's not news. When a company does get hacked, it is news. So we only see the failures, but there's much more success stories than failures. So while my childhood friend has skyscrapers and bridges to show to his kids, we have something to show as well. A safe and secure world. A safe and secure world we're building together with our partners, with our clients and customers, and with the hackers and programmers of the world. Thank you very much. This is a... This is a strange place, right? I mean, obviously, we're here for a reason, not just because it happens to be the calmest corner of the internet. No, 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 no. We're here because it will be the site of an exciting new event on the Cybersecurity Conference calendar. WITSECURE is the logical brand evolution for our B2B business. This is a big step for our company. Our outcome-based security means that we can help organizations connect security to business results. Our proven expertise means that our experience and insights are available to our partners at any time. Our instinctive technology simplifies lives by scaling, adapting, responding and augmenting. And it's the fusion of these three things together with our co-security approach that really makes a difference. It has a positive impact on your business and the world. And I'd like to invite you all to join us in co-creating and co-securing our digital society. I'm happy to announce that WITSECURE is launching Sphere, our annual co-security conference. We're inviting business leaders, entrepreneurs, futurists, innovators, 
digital artists, makers and breakers, as well as partners and customers, to come together and co-create a safer digital society together. The details are now on the screen. Please visit our website to find out more and register for your seat in the Witsecure sphere. We'd be honored to see you there. I very much hope you enjoyed the launch of our new brand. We're incredibly excited about where it will take us and how we together can co-secure the future. From Risto, Mikko, Christine, and everybody here at WITSECURE, thank you for watching. Stay safe. In a digital society, there are leaders and there are followers. Leaders pursue digital trust. They see cybersecurity as the superpower to reach goals unreachable and do things undoable. In cybersecurity, nothing and no one can solve all challenges alone. You need proven expertise. You need right technologies, adapting intuitively to the living nature of threats, business, and the world around us. And you need a team with a co-security mindset. That's where we step in. Co-security means to create and deliver security outcomes by solving the most challenging cybersecurity problems, by preventing, detecting, and responding to the most novel threats, by fighting the villain of complexity, and by closing the competence gap together in good partnership. We are with you when it matters the most. We have what it takes to go over the edge, securely and without fear, for and with you. We are with Secure, and our name is our promise.